Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before you know I do all sorts of random things but if you're new well this will be a lovely surprise for you. Today what we're going to be doing is having a look at some of the lovely gothic kitchen ware that I own and that goes toward making my lifestyle a little bit more enjoyable shall we say. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and you haven't already please go ahead and do so don't forget to like the video and if you'd like to buy me a coffee then you can go to my Kofi account and do just that in the meantime let's get cracking with some of well let's hopefully not get cracking because it's crockery yes see what I did there um the first things I'm going to show you are the first things that we bought um, in this style and it's like a pasta dish or a salad dish or pretty much any sort of dish that you'd like it to be. It's about like that. So not a soup bowl or a cereal bowl. It's rather lovely and as you can see it's got a skull with a gold crown and some lovely floral edging and all the crockery I'm going to show you is by a company called Royal Stafford made in Burslem the heart of the potteries in England so that's the bowl and the plate that goes with it is like this and as you can see same as the bowl but a nice plate so we had those and we've decided this year that we would get some more Royal Stafford things because they are so nice. And so we got some more dinner plates and I was extraordinarily happy with these. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? And it's sort of like handwriting in the background. Really, um, I would say, 14, 15, 16th century handwriting, looks like a diary and I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's either Italian or Latin but who knows. If anyone's got this plate and they've read it perhaps they could let me know. So that's the dinner plates in that um, style and in a similar but not exactly the same style we have the cereal slash soup bowls so the same skull without his crown on or her crown and like a nice sort of just black almost lace slash iron work edging and to go with those are the side plates so all in all pretty darn lovely the crockery so i'm just going to put these to one side in the sure and certain hope that i will not drop them and i will be back in a second to show you the next lot of stuff okay the next lot of stuff i'm going to show you is my tea stuff and I think the first things are going to be the mugs and if you watched my video a few videos ago where I got a huge gift from my friend Ari in America she sent me this fantastic bat's blood mug which you know is about three gallons worth of tea or coffee in there so at the moment it's still just being very decorative in the kitchen all the rest of the things all the crockery i just showed you everything else is our day-to-day -day stuff um, that we use all the time so i mean don't think we have it on display or anything no it's all for use so there's my lovely bat's blood mug i've got my buffy mug from back in the day I have a strategy. You're not in it. That's my lovely Buffy mug and I think I remember rightly I got this um, with an Easter egg um, a thousand years ago. Then we have my lovely 
Skull and Crossbones mug, which you may have seen me drinking from in other videos. Mr. Jane is very partial to his Pentacle mug, which is actually by Spirit of Equinox co.uk and I think it's very simple and elegant and frightens the builders but you know there we go then I've got this one my spooky mug which is by Waitrose of all people and I got that a few years ago at Halloween so there's that one and then I've got my weekend mug which is this one which is the witch's brew mug and this is a nice sort of big saturday morning get in from a cold run sit down and have a big coffee in this type of mug so those are the mugs and in the daytime they're mainly used for drinking coffee but as the day goes on i move on to tea and for tea, before I got my little teapot, I used to use this skull and crossbones tea infuser. And you basically, you put the tea in his head, do it up, and then hang it over the side of your mug. And the tea infuses and bobs your uncle. And the tea that I used for that, and still do, is my lovely monster mash tea now monster mash teas they do all sorts of different teas um, and when I got this jar from them it actually had their eponymous tea in it I've at the moment got dragon's blood tea in it which is unbelievably gorgeous so if you do like fruit teas or green teas or any sort of interesting teas monster mash teas is the place to go and it even comes with a little tiny little tiny metal brass label saying drink me on it so that's pretty lovely i'll just put that there um for use with these things i have my bat brew tea strainer um, thing that you put your tea strainer on and witch's brew teaspoon stand because as you know if you make a lot of cups of tea and coffee and you've got a teaspoon in your hand there's never anywhere to put it down without making a terrible mess so these are by Alchemy Gothic or Alchemy England, depending on where you are. So those are very useful. And to put my drinks on, I got these coasters and they're not the best coasters in the world. So I've only got two left. I've got the High Priestess. There she is there. And Death. Um, because they are tarot card coasters um, as I say they're not super good they're cork on the back and therefore they sort of go a bit bendy and useless but there was um, the devil and strength and something else and something else but um, I've still got these two so happy with those and <clears throat> then I did mention just now that I got a teapot and this is it I got it from Killstar and it's the As Above So Below teapot. Gonna be very careful here. Comes with its own cup as part of it. I'll just put this down here. And it's got flames and a goat, a winged goat and a skeleton um, engaged in some sort of ritual. Um, the only thing with this as a cup is that it is massively wide. I mean, it's that wide. And once you fill it up with tea or coffee, it's quite unwieldy. So I just keep it on the side um, with my daily tablets in it. And so I can still use it for something. 
but the teapot itself which is adorable um, got a little crescent moon on the lid put two teaspoons of whatever tea you're having in there leave it to stew for three minutes and it sits on its own little plate there it is as above so below and of course the day I bought it in Killstar the day after it went on sale but isn't that always the way so that is my tea equipment and if you just hang on I'll show you the last few things in my gothic kitchenware episode stay where you are and nearly finally I've got some tea towels um, again I got two of them from Ari in America you might remember them from that um, unboxing I did one is lovely with just black and white skulls or grey and white the other one is this little skeleton saying eek I've got some that I've had for really quite a number of years um, this one is like so with white with black skulls and this one is black with white skulls and I mean I have got some other ones but they're so ancient they're just not really um, nice enough to put in front of the camera um, but you know you can't have brand new everything to show to the camera every time I'm sure you understand and then as I said previously these are things that we use every day so they're not going to be like pristine and untouched um, which includes this lovely set that I actually got this year in home sense which I think is the English or UK version of home goods I'm not sure so we've got oven gloves with spiders and I needed some new oven gloves so these were the ones to go for rather nice and they came with well they didn't come with but in the same line they have tea towels matching but what really grips my goat is that when they do these tea towels they used to do years ago prior to the apocalypse they used to do like two or three tea towels in a set all halloweeny all jolly nice these you get one nice one and one plain white one which is really no good to man or dog so it um, spends its life being my makeup towel um, for on my lap when I'm doing um, vid well not just when I'm doing videos but when I do my makeup ordinarily to stop things going all over my lap I have a tea towel on my lap and sometimes I even have a duster around my neck so that when I'm using powder products I don't get powder all over my lovely clothes so the last item I wanted to show you is this absolutely gorgeous pewter spirit measure with skull and crossbones on isn't it lovely it's got a huge top bit and a not quite so huge bottom bit and Mr Jane and I use it on the occasion when we have a gin and tonic um, ice and a slice obviously and we only got that this year as well so that's a recent acquisition and again I'm not going to say we use it every day of course because we don't but all the things that I've shown you are just our everyday run-of-the-mill lovely gothy homeware things and I hope you've enjoyed seeing them um, it just gives you a little bit of an insight into my lifestyle and of course the name of the channel is Jane Wilkes my elder goth style so it's all part of my style 
Thanks very much for watching. I hope you're all doing very well at home and I must say thank you so much to everybody who comments. It's just so lovely to get these messages from you and to hear a little bit about you and what you're doing and your pets and where you live. It really is a lovely thing and every Sunday when my video goes up I'm always thinking I wonder who's going to leave a comment this week and, or I wonder if so and so is going to drop a comment in this week or it's just lovely so do please keep doing it and of course everybody as October is now well and truly upon us it is spooky month and therefore I am urging you to stay straight. Bye for now, everybody.